Yes, we are back. Back again in Train Sim World number four. Back again to look at another new thing. Yes, new map, new trains. It's time to go to Blackpool. I can't do a Blackpool accent. I nearly did a Brummie accent. It began with B, it was close. Um, so yes, we're going to do a full line run on the, the, the bit, that's the, the long bit, that, uh, in the pacer with the gear changey thing. Uh, going to do a summer run, then do a winter run, uh, see how it is. Over the next three nights, for those watching live, I will be streaming this route. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, then uh, over the next couple of videos, uh, we'll be doing this. If you are watching on YouTube, hi. Um, there'll be links in the description below to where you can get this route. Uh, there'll be a link down there to the Twitch page where you can watch me live on the Twitchy. And a link down there to the Discord server as well. Uh, good evening to Trent, Ethan uh, and Connor. So yes, uh, there has been a video out on the YouTubes already uh, doing the training in this. Uh, we will do a full line run. Um, we'll do a timetable route. Um, basically, there's three versions of the Pacer. Uh, from what I worked out <coughs> um, last night, uh, we've got the standard version, which is the, the Leyland with the automated manual gearbox, 85 to 91. In a couple of different paint jobs we've got the um 89 to 96 which is the leyland with the voith gearbox so that's an auto in a couple of different paint jobs three of them and then we've got the 1993 plus which seems to be the cummins engine with the voith gearbox in a couple of different paint jobs uh, so a few different versions of them uh, if you've got other trains as well uh, some of the other trains are integrated into the timetable uh, we'll look at that further later uh, but what we want to do basically straight away uh, is jump straight in um, so we're going to do the four line run so we're going to do we'll start at the Blackpool end so we'll go Blackpool south to Ormskirk and we'll make it summer just so we can uh, see the, the gloriousness that is this route. I've not done this route before. The only ones I've done backwards and forwards, which you'll see on a couple of videos coming up over the next couple of days on YouTube, or last week if you're watching this on YouTube, um, is Blackpool North to Preston. That's all I've done. Um, so I've not done this bit of the route. I've saved it for the stream. Do I think the pacer will be good? Uh, I've done a bit of trundling up, around, up and down in the pacer. I quite like it. Right, let's jump straight in. Hi, Lou. Greg, uh, 36 months. Uh, do I recommend any therapist? I recommend a spelling coach, because that's not how you spell therapist. Uh, but three years. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Greg. Uh, oh, right, truck IR's on. We don't want that. Right. We'll give it some volumes. We'll open some windows. <clears throat> uh, we'll show you the outside. In all of its gloriousnessness, we have Pacer. Uh, we'll unlock the doors. So, master key on. Into forward. But lights to head. Uh, destination light we'll have on. We can twiddle with the board up here. And we'll set this to uh, Blackpool. Sa no, Ormskirk, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, that's, that's close enough. So, yeah. So, Blackpool South is where we are. Obviously, the, uh, the tower is nowhere around here. Wait till 11 o'clock. So... We can have a little... We'll put the AWS on. I quite like this AWS cover. Look. Open that. Oh, that means I've got to sit down. Hang on. There we go. It's the wrong destination. No, we're going to Ormskirk. Hello, people. That's a lot of people sat in really uncomfortable seats, isn't it? They've got a fun ride ahead. Yes, the blind does work too. Right, 
let's get back inside. So we're going to uh, Squires Gate, St Anne on the Sea, uh, Ansdale, Lytham, Moss Side, Kirkham and Wesham, Preston, uh, Midge Hall. Oh, it's a token exchange. Oh, it's going to be fun. I not that yet. Croston, uh, Rufford, Burscow Co. and Ormskirk. And the fun thing that I. Th this was only pointed out to me last night, okay? I didn't realise this was a thing. Are you ready? Oh, hang on. We might have to wait till we get going. Bear with me. Uh, this is the Leyland. Is it going to work now? We will shortly be arriving at Squire's Gate. I like that. There is an announcement. I really like that. Right. Breaks off. Are we ready? Gear change. It's it's so good. Also I'll turn it down slightly. The bounciness. You get the bounciness. Uh, this comes out tomorrow. The next stop is Squire's Gate. The next stop is Squire's Gate. I love that. And because it's not constantly welded track. Oh, there's a roller coaster. Roller coaster. Yeah, no, I, I think the bounciness is uh, is pretty good. Uh, the, uh, that rear carriage going up and down. And that gear change. This is the only version of this train I, I, I ever need. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, so I've not done this bit of the route yet. So this is my first time doing this. But the bit I've done between Preston and uh, Blackpool North, it's really well done. Which is partly why I wanted to do this in the summer, so we can actually get to see the route. Oh yeah, you will be seeing this in a around the UK Pacer tour at Christmas. <clears throat> I, I don't get bored of that announcement. <clears throat> the bouncy, the bouncy is so good. So yeah, hour and 10 minutes, the route from Ormskirk to Blackpool South. It's just so good. Yeah, it is. It is good. Right, log doors. <coughs> My instant thing is to anybody toying whether you should buy it or not. Just, just, just buy it. Next 
stop is St Anne's on the Sea. I love that. The next stop is St Anne's on the Sea. Gear change. It's I it, mm. look at the bouncing, the bouncing. Uh, it's not free. It's out tomorrow. Uh, exclamation mark route in chat. We'll give you a link to it. There you go. It's just, when we heard we were getting the pacer, uh, I wasn't sure whether this route would do it justice. I, th this route actually is really, really good. St. Anne's on the Sea. 50 miles an hour. Look at the bouncing. No, Just Trains did a really good job from what I've seen so far. Even the ambient noise. Clickety clack, clickety clack, and the rocking of the train. It's so good. But it's not the same announcement. We're now arriving at St. Anne's on the Sea. It's so good. I, I wasn't sure, but the route, um, I'm really liking it. It's my first time on this bit. That's a long platform. And it's smoky as well. Bloody hell, a bit abandoned, isn't it? That old bloody place has fallen down. Yeah, just the, I just... I'm going to open the blind. Hang on. Hello, people. Hello. Oh, locked doors. That's me again. Yeah, it, it is. A, it's the, it's the small bits of detail. Oh God, Ans Ansdale and oh, Fairhaven. The next station stop is Ansdale and Fairhaven. Ansdale and Fairhaven. Gear change. As I said, there are three versions of the train. One with the Leyland and the automated manual, which is what this got. <clears throat> one with the Leyland and the Voith automatic. One with the Cummins and the Voith automatic. This is my favorite. This is the one you'll be seeing a lot of over Christmas because of the manual gear change. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite a few stops. 
I said, compared to the AP version that I've done in Train Sim Classic, the gear change seemed quite quick, but I, I really like it now. It's the, the rocking from side to side. It's the first time they've actually used their new um, technology dovetail on a route. So we start getting this on other routes. Um, it's just really cool. You know, rear carriage just bouncing about. really makes me want to go on this line albeit it won't be on a pacer but I like those announcements we need those on every route dovetail how hard can it be I oh, nitro That's another long platform. Blimey. What are they expecting to arrive at these platforms? Well, yeah, something incredibly long. Well, loco hauled stuff, I suppose. Trains to Blackpool that way, trains to Preston that way. Locked doors, would be cruel to do it before they get on. Yeah, there's a lot of little bits of detail in this. Um, It's, say it's the gear change for me. The next stop is Lytham. Next stop is Lytham. I just, I'm not going to get bored of this gear change. Yeah, we're going to do a couple of runs on this Ormskirk to Blackpool. So we go all the way to Ormskirk. We've got it set as summer. Then we'll go back. We'll do another one coming the other way in the other version. So we'll do the Leyland with the auto gearbox. <coughs> and then tomorrow, uh, we'll be back again. We'll do the, uh, the Cummins and this one as well on the other routes. Next station stop is Lytham. I think I've said this in the videos that are coming out on YouTube in the next couple of days that I think this is one of those routes, certainly that bit from Blackpool North to Preston, that you'd end up doing in like all times of day, all sorts of weather, because it's just a really enjoyable route. And already, only 20 minutes into this one, I'm really liking this route as well. I think you could chuck a 150 on this, a 15A, a 101. Look, see bits of abandoned timber, but on that platform. I right, bag more. It, it feels as though it's a bit, I don't know, run down. Look at it. Yes, the 101 is. And there's a special version of the 08 Shunter as well. 
to what we'll do on Wednesday when I stream it is we'll have a look at uh, some of the other options for it. Uh, no, I didn't leave the office today. Um, actually, went in the office door at like 20 past 7 this morning, came back out of it at 5 to 5 tonight. Didn't go outside once. It just, the, the pacer just, I don't know, just fits, doesn't it? Oh, locked doors. Right, two miles to Moss Side. <laughs> Tired and a bit run down, that's me. You probably can get on the bridge. I think this is one of those that you almost, you don't want to drive it quickly. You just want to take your time. Moss side. Just like, yeah, I don't care if you're running late. It's fine. No, oh, you got to do some of the longer runs. I think this is good because it's there's like a couple of miles apart, so I don't think it will feel like a, a long run because it's stop, start, stop, start. There's a token exchange as well we got to do. I don't know how that's going to work in this. It is a bussy thing. Oh, look at the bouncing. We like the bouncing. Yeah, I think there's a few lines this would actually work quite well on. So I will be taking it on a UK tour around Christmas. I think Crispy is going to work on a livery for me. all the beans Paddington to Penzance yeah unfortunately you can't do it in train sim well four the next stop is Moss Side the bouncy. The bouncy is really good. So yes, yeah, so we'll do the run to Ormskirk in this and then we'll come back again in the uh, in the auto version with a different livery. And then tomorrow night we'll do the Cummins. The, the, the squeakiness and the squeakiness. That's so good. What's that person in their green? Nothing growing in their greenhouse, have they? 
Do some work there. Those bus seats, though. Hello. <coughs> oh, they did come on and disappeared. Oh, sit down. Like, oh, 2.9 miles to the next stop. Kirkham and Wesham, isn't it? I love those announcements. Gonna smoke. Gear change. Yeah, look at the, the scenery. It's done so well. I, I know we wanted Pacer. They they gave us Pacer. Big time. They've done a really good job. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be back tomorrow night with some more of this and on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday night, uh, back with some OMSI. Friday night, uh, not sure at the moment. Not enough of us to do balls. Uh, and then um, potentially Saturday night for something. And then Sunday back on the farm. I'm not going to, I'm going to hold judgment. Uh, on that art for until I've done all the line but my initial impressions is I really like it this is my favorite train now for trains in world not just because it's a pacer but because of the modeling and the audio and the bounciness but I think they have put a lot of detail into this route Alright, 55 limit. It's the way it's swaying from side to side. So yeah, this does release tomorrow. Uh, exclamation mark root in chat. We'll give you a link to it uh, on Steam. I love that that rear carriage is just bouncing up and down. It's so good. So yeah, all the way to uh, Ormskirk we're going. Uh, 30 limit approaching. One thing I was impressed by as well, which we haven't seen yet on this bit, um, on the Blackpool North to Preston, there's a lot of AI. There's a lot of other trains. Obviously, this is all single um, single track. So we've not seen anything else. I'm expecting to, because I'm guessing there'll be a point... Well, we've got the token exchange. So there will be a point where we'll pass something. I'm guessing this is where we join the main line then. There we go. There's already something coming the other way. That squealing. I love that squealing. I 
Right, we'll make our way into Kirkham and Wesham. So I've done this one in summer so we can see the route. When we come back in the auto version of this, we'll set it as today's date and see what we get weather-wise. audio it just makes you want to go slowly all right breaking yeah definitely one of those where I can instantly say just go and buy it Squeaky. Right. So we've got Preston. Um, oh. Uh, Croston, Rufford, Burzkow, and Ormskirk. We've got to do a bit of a to token exchange at some point. Right, press seven and a half miles. Oh, God, we might get to put it for its paces. We will shortly be arriving at Preston. Well, we won't shortly be arriving at Preston. It's seven and a half miles away. Right, we'll give it the beans. Yes, it is. So we should now be able to get 75 out of this old girl. Once we get the speed limit to do so. But yeah, even the scenery. It's so good. Yeah, I, I really hope the announcements thing is something that they add in for more routes. Right, go. Bouncy, bouncy. I'm surprised actually how quick this thing actually gets up speed. Uh, so I'm not a fan of the auto ones because they just, it's a bit too rapid. I think the bouncing's awesome. Look at it, it's just swaying and bouncing. Oh, I do like a good bounce. Been a while. Any more dates this weekend? No. So we should see more stuff coming the other way now because we're on the main line. I'm actually going to have to back off the power. Uh, bargain. You'll enjoy it, Liverpool man. Bouncing our way through the station. We 
will shortly be arriving at Preston. Well, in four miles. I love it. <coughs> I think this is my new favourite train in Trains in World 4. It's just got so much character. This will be going on every UK line. They've done a fantastic job with this. Not only the train, but the route. An hour and ten minutes from uh, Blackpool South to Ormskirk. I was nearly actually going to Brighton this Saturday. It was very close. I do need to experience this train in real life. I need to find that one that's on the main line doing a rail tour. Uh, routes out tomorrow. Uh, exclamation mark route in chat will give you a link. I just love the swayiness as a word. Yeah, I don't think it's a fit on London Underground. I don't have the 166 on that. Oh, he took a shunter on the Bakerloo line. Yeah, three versions of the Pacer. This, the Leyland with the automated manual, uh, a Leyland with the Voith Auto, and a Cummins with the Voith. Yeah, I've got AWS turned on. Little flap over here to turn it on. Bit of road building going on there. I think it doesn't release at the same time because of obviously server issues where the servers are based. All right, we've got a 35. So let's bring some brakes in. One point two miles to Preston. I do like a McDonald's milkshake, but not in November. Right, into Preston. I love that squeakiness as it's going around the corners. This is so good. The next station stop is Preston. Finally, the next station stop is Preston. Don't forget, if you're into trains or you're slightly weird and you're free on the 2nd of December uh, and you can get to Manchester, we have got a Discord meetup in Manchester uh, on the 2nd of December. Two weeks this coming Saturday. Uh, 11 of us from the Discord server uh, having a meetup in Manchester going to Salford Keys. Um, seven or eight of us staying overnight. So if you're uh, if you're free and you want to come along and say hello to some of us, uh, details are in the Discord server. Can 
even at slow speed, this is so good. Oh, a bit of matched dot men, the matched dot cats and dogs, a bit of Brian and Michael. Right, into Preston. This isn't the end. We carry on from here towards Ormskirk. Am I staying in the Hilton? No. Oh, another pacer. Am I going via Reading? I'm driving. It's about a third of the cost for going by train. Unlock doors. So you've got an orange one over there. We'll be driving that colour next. It's such a good detailed station. Look at it. It's so good. And the train. Well, look at those seats. Oh, hello. Oh, you're looking a bit... Um, it should be... Um, I, mm, uh, we'll, we'll leave you. waiting to go. Yeah, it is really cool. Right. Waiting to 11.39. Really? I've just... Okay. Appears to be lacking a driver. Yeah, you look very... You're right. Chav. Check the TV monitors. Yeah, you, some of you youngsters don't remember when there were CRTs. Ormskirk, 11.39. Expected 11.40. Oh. We're running late then. I don't expect... We are here! How could it be expected 11.40? We're here. Crispy. Yeah, it is so, so good. We can open up the guards panel as well. Um, shove your thing in the hole. Uh, we can open and close the doors and stuff from here. Which is pretty cool. Right, we will wait to depart, making our way towards Ormskirk. Right, lock doors. Well, we got to do the whole token thing. I don't know how that works in this. I think I've ever done it. Oh, we won't shortly be arriving at Crossland. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, it's the original one. That's a lot of bounce. Yeah, please don't ruin things for me, Artful. I want to find out for myself. It is a very optimistic announcer. So yeah, we do the auto version on the way back with the Leyland and then we'll do the Cummins tomorrow.
or if I'll pull in Manchester. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Oh, yeah, we better not go too quick. We got a uh, 30 limit. Yeah, you will be seeing this on a on a Christmas pace of, uh, well, UK tour initially. So go via a signal, then the token exchange, then Croston, then Rufford, then Burzkow, uh, probably pronounced that wrong, and then Ormskirk. But yeah, this route, and it's, it's the first time I've done this bit. I, it's so good. It is so, so good. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm guessing we're diversifying. Diversifying? Diverting, even. I don't know why I said diversifying diverting off the main line again. Oh, it comes off the train. Yeah, probably a bit busier now, but I mean, it's a set in the 80s. Probably wasn't that frequent, the service. I actually do trust Dovetail's timetables. Right, so a yellow. And then we uh, dash off the main line by the looks of things. So yeah, so I'm going to be back tomorrow night doing some more of this where we'll do the Cummins version and then we'll do the bit between Blackpool North and uh, Preston and then Wednesday, going to be back again where we'll look at some of the other trains uh, on the route so we'll do the, like the Class 47s and the 101s and do the timetable routes for those So back onto a bit of a branch line now, it would seem. I love the bouncing. Right, the beans. It's the way the line's all overgrown as well. Right, 2.4 miles, we got a red. They've done, they've done a lot of work with the detail of this. Just the way it's bouncing up and down. It 
it's got a really good feel to it. I, I can't explain it. It just it just has got a really really good feel to it. I think the train doesn't make you want to drive fast. The route's really well done. You can see where this used to be, you know, double track, and they've just taken the track up and stacked the, the sleepers up. Will actually make the train bounce, the suspension. Forget, it was originally based on a Leyland National bus, but on a, um, a wagon chassis, which is why you got the squealing. Yeah, I, I love the squealing as you're going around a corner. That's really well done. Right, 800 yards and we got a red. So yeah, we're going all the way to Ormskirk. Then we'll switch to the same engine that's in this one, which is the Leyland. But we'll go to the uh, auto variant, so you can tell the difference. Different paint job. And then we'll do the return trip um, with the time of year set to what it is now. Um, from Ormskirk back to Blackpool. Track noise is so good as well. All right, here's our go via. Another really run down platform. Mitch Hall wasn't he a um, wasn't he a singer? Or was that Mitch Hall? That's quite a good uh, quite a good picture. That's the thumbnail, I think. Right, stop at Croston. Oh, hang on, do the announcement. The next station stop is Croston. I just love this gear change. That is just so, 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 so good. What they need is a version like that for the 101. They need to, someone needs to do a mod for the 101 so it will change gear automatically. I would have probably used the 101 more then. I love those announcements. There's so much I love about this. I, I want to do a long journey in this. I really do. Bouncy, bouncy. Ha! 
<laughs> I think our bounciness is brilliant. So it's the first time that's been implemented on a route in uh, Train Sim World 4. So I think we're going to see that on every new route. Oh, Just Trains have done a fantastic model and fantastic job of this. Um, I hope this is the, sh the shape of things to come. What I want now already is a pacer pack. I want the 143. And I want the uh, I want the prototype. Will shortly be arriving at Croston. Oh yeah, I just trains have sometimes put out not great content for Train Sim Classic. If this is what they can do for Train Sim World, bring it on. This is seriously, I, I think this is, I'm going to say it. No, I, I will. In fact, I'm going to. Not only is this my favourite train in Train Sim World so far, I actually think this has now become my favourite route in Train Sim World. Is this free? Oh no. Uh, exclamation mark route. Yeah, 30 quid. And what I'd say... Yes, yeah, because it's not out till tomorrow. And it's not just because of the pacer. I think the actual route itself is really good. I'll say we'll do the... Um, the Preston to Blackpool North tomorrow. I don't think we're going to get a chance to do it tonight if we do another run in this. Or would you rather see Preston to Blackpool North tonight? And then we'll do another run in this and the other one tomorrow. I'm easy, like a morning that's Sunday. So at least you get to see all the bits. Okay, we'll do. Um, okay, when we've done this, then we'll do Preston to Blackpool North. find me uh not in the dark we'll do it we'll do it in summer first we'll do because only about 25 minutes we'll do preston to blackpool north and blackpool north to preston and maybe try a dark one or we can actually no we'll do blackpool north to preston and then we'll come from preston black to back to blackpool at dusk and see if we can see everything lit up Yeah, what a brilliant route. Black to Blackpool. Yeah. So we do another full line run on uh, tomorrow night, going the other way. We'll do Ormskirk back to Blackpool. And then Wednesday, we'll look at some of the other stuff that you get with it. Oh yeah, you can't beat a good steam sail. Very bouncy, bouncy.
So there's a couple of good looking scenarios to do as well. So plenty of stuff to do. Oh, is Ethan eyeing up bargains now already for when he gets his laptop? Don't forget, we got a lot more coming for this as well. I love those announcements. We need those for every route. The next stop is Rufford. So yeah, we go to Wormskirk. Yeah, don't really keep an eye on Humble Bundle as well because there's some good deals on there sometimes. Again, one of the situations where you may not necessarily want it at the time, but if it's that good a deal, get it and you might play it in the future. Ethan's going to have to buy um, ETS2 DLCs and things as well if he's going to join us for that. They did a Train Sim World 3 bundle earlier in the year, didn't they? Right, I think Ormskirk is the next stop from memory. Where's Ethan going to get the money from? The Bank of Mummy. Oh no, Burzkow Junction. Burzkow Junction. Oh, God. My mouse. I need to look at it. Burska. Burska Junction. I see, just, just hold it in first, it's fine. Well, no, he probably can't afford to get this crispy because he's out on Saturday. Oh, that gear change. Right, Burzka Junction, then Ormskirk. And then we'll jump back to Blackpool North and do Blackpool North to Preston. Uh, didn't think it was on a free weekend. If it was, then this route wouldn't have been because it's not out yet. Oh yeah, I did see something about being on Xbox. My uh, Xbox premium things expired now. Yeah, but you sure you now haven't been charged for it or something? Unless you just got Game Pass. That noise and that bouncy. Burzka Junction. Junction. 
68. We'll do a run from Blackpool North to uh, Preston. And then uh, we'll do Preston back to Blackpool in dusk. We could show you the three different types, I suppose. So this is the automated manual. We'll do the the Leyland with the auto next and then we'll come back with the other one so at least we'll go through all three types today and then tomorrow when we come back and do more we'll do the reverse run of this um, and then look at some of the scenarios Sure to be arriving at Burska Junction. I, well, yeah, I've said that on the video that's coming out on Thursday. This is the first route that I actually want to do all the scenarios, and I think I would. I, I want to do like the first service of the day, and I think it'd be it's quite an interesting one to be able to just spend a bit of time trundling up and down I can actually see me just trundling up and down this whilst listening to some music and stuff it's the first route that I, I've had that urge it's just got such a good feel to it it's been a while since I've had an urge Yeah, you wait till you get your laptop, though, Ethan. The, the PlayStation will be... Uh, yeah, PlayStation, the Xbox won't be used as much then. And on they get excited passengers. Right. Final stop then, Ormskirk. Two and a half miles away. The next station stop is Ormskirk, where this train terminates. Where this train terminates. I'll have a jelly baby. Well, they can be a bit, you know, automated, but they are. They're only a little bit late as well. That's not bad going for me. So yeah, so this is the automated manual. We'll do the Leyland gearbox, uh, no, the Leyland engine with the Voith gearbox um, from Blackpool North to Preston in a minute. And then we'll do the Cummins on the return to Blackpool North. bouncing up and down this is so good so come on then how many of you watching will be buying it tomorrow
I'll expect some screenshots in the Discord server. I may even run a little bit of a competizione. The winner gets a night out with Crispy. <laughs> I'm not taking part. Okay, winner gets a night out with me. <laughs> Doable. Well, thanks very much. Wow. What do you require? All right, here we are arriving in Ormskirk. The next stop is Ormskirk, where this train terminates. Yeah, what an awesome route. I actually like the fact that those initial stops were close together and we had a little bit of a run to here. It's one of those things though, I want to know what's next. What's down there? Where does this line go? I want to carry on. Also, we can't from here because we've got the buffery thing in the way, but you know. Right, people, get off. We're here now. Get off the trick. What the hell do you look like? You probably know, but you can get off now. Uh, there is a free roam mode. Trains to Liverpool. That side. So trains to Liverpool will come in here then. And trains to Preston. That way. Welcome to Ormskirk. Oh, that's a thing. Right. So when this is finished, we'll now go and do Blackpool North to Preston. Well, no good you buzzing the buzzery thing, is there? Uh, right, main menu. Right, so we go automatic this time with the gearboxy thing. And so and what we do on Wednesday is we'll go through some of the timetable routes you get for some of these other trains. There's some stuff to do with the shunter. There's some class 20 stuff, some stuff with the blue diesels and the 101. Uh, so we'll look at those on Wednesday. Uh, right, so that was the 85 to 91. Uh, now we'll do the 89 to 96. Uh, we'll go with the orange one and we'll do Blackpool North uh, to uh, Preston. We'll do one I haven't done before. We'll keep it in summer so that you can see the um, the way the line looks. Uh, there we go. And this time we'll be automatic gearbox. Right, so master key on, reverser in, window open. Okay, unlock doors, lights head. We are now all orangey, and there is in the distance the tower.
and we are going to Poultney Fylde, Kirkham and Wesham and then Preston so we'll change the display thing to Preston how do you stop it kicking me off if I go past signal at danger don't go past the signal at danger simple uh, right wait until 11.25 let's open the blind it's Manchester Victoria not Preston I'm going to go to Preston why it's a lot of people uh, it, it, it's a busy one. It's a lot of the peoples on board. So we've got a 101 waiting over there. We've got a 47 or something. That's a long one. That's just come in down there. This is where the shunter comes in. See, the shunter will come in and take those carriages out. Out the way. Which is quite cool. Uh, right, locked doors. Okay, I've got to get back in here to do that. Right, so now we're auto gear box, so you won't get that lovely gear change. Right, three miles to Portland the Fylde. And off we go, oh monkey. Nineteen eighties trains in a twenty twenty two station. Well does look good though with a tower in the background. Got a little shunter sat waiting outside. Someone said you can go in one of the signal boxes. I don't know which one it is that's modelled, but one of them you can actually go inside. Right, let's go. So this is the Leyland engine with the Voith automatic gearbox now, so we don't get that gear change. I really do like those announcements. I really like this bit of line as well. And bouncy, bouncy. Just reminds me of like a 150. Uh, yes, you could see the tower. We showed it just when we left a couple of minutes ago. It's actually pretty rapid. It actually gets a move on. I'm impressed. Right, we've got a 35 limit coming up. <coughs> <coughs> so 
So I will expect to see some nice Pacer screenshots in the Discord server tomorrow night then. And Crispy's going to work on a special livery. Blackpool North signal box the one you can go in. Okay. Oh god, that's bad. My niece used to live two doors down from one of musical use mums. Uh one of the guys from Musical Youth um, was at um, it's like the Christmas or New Year's party I was at once. From Birmingham. The next stop is Poulton Le Fylde. In we come to Poulton Le Fylde. So making our way to Preston, and then what we'll do is we'll set Well, do we wanna what we could do I'm speaking out loud here. Which is a good thing, otherwise you wouldn't hear me. Um we could leave it as summer and just put it as like later in the evening, and then tomorrow night we'll leave it as real world weather. So we we'll have a summery evening. Right, Kirkham and Wesham. The next station stop is Kirkham and Wesham. Um, yeah, I, I definitely prefer the manual gearbox to the auto. When we do the next run, we'll, we'll use the Cummins engine. It just feels a bit more, I don't know, relaxing, the, or the manual one. But I, I love the, the track and it's just got, the map's got such a good feel about it. And the bouncy and the swayiness. I think the model's such a good bit of detail as well. Flat out, 60 mile an hour. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow night, back with more of this. Uh, and on Wednesday as well. Uh, Thursday night, we got some OMSI. Uh, doing some routes for the bus company. Uh, Friday night, not sure. 
Uh, what we have planned, there isn't enough of us for, um, but there will be something on Friday night. Uh, don't know what I'm doing Saturday yet, so may or may not be here. Um, but we'll be here on Sunday uh, for some farming. No, I'm going to leave the quiz for a week. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Like a rubber ball, you come bouncing back for more. Yeah, what, what a brilliant route this is. So yes, there will be a around the UK Pacer tour at Christmas. It does, it does look really good, doesn't it? Next stop is Kirkham and Wesham. It's the fact that it's just bouncing along. It is just so good. Just buy it. If you're in a, if you're not, not sure, just buy it. You won't regret it. Right, one point three miles, we got a thirty. Oh, it is about the little bits of detail. So it's swaying from side to side. Yeah, we'll do a late evening run back to Blackpool after this. So we'll leave about eight o'clock. In the Cummins version. Only half an hour. Oh yeah, real time, yeah. Yeah, it is a brilliant route. I was hesitant. I said my, my first look at it was when the video that went out on YouTube today. Um, that was my genuine first time in the train. And the one that's going out tomorrow on YouTube is my first run on this route. Um, and I was like, wow, it's so good. There's one going out tomorrow and there's one going out on Thursday on YouTube. And then my uh, Train Sim Classic uh, Pacer video going out on Wednesday. That's going to confuse people. I'll probably put this out on Sunday. The next station stop is Kirkham Wesham. Even as announcements little tiny bits of detail
Right, into Kirkham and Wesham. Odd stuck in the middle of nowhere sort of station. <whistles> Gentlemen. Kirkham and Wesham. We were here earlier. Since Dujave going on. It's very orange. We'll use the chocolate and cream one next. There's the Fox's factory in this game. I don't know because I don't know where it is. Lock doors. Right, Preston, next, 7.5 miles away. Look at all of the beans. We will shortly be arriving at Preston, where this service ends. Where this service ends. So it's not going to Manchester. Right, seven mile run now then. To Preston. It's definitely not got the same feel using the auto. Big building over there with a bit of a tower thing on top of it. Right, go. There's a fire station. Oh, hence the tower. Oh, I'll do it, I suppose. Right, bit of a high speed dash now. You never say that in a pacer. Look at the bouncing. Yeah, so we'll do the Cummins next on the way back. So we've used all three versions. You can make it more bouncy, apparently. I think they've got it just right, though, as standard. go 74 miles an hour into Pesa. It's 
So I can go in that signal box as well. I like that you can see inside it. That looks quite industrial around here. Yeah, there is a toilet on board. Imagine trying to pee standing up using that. I made that mistake a couple of weeks ago on the train. Because, well, the state of the toilet seat, I wasn't going anywhere near that. So trying to pee on a moving train. Right, 3.6 miles to Preston and then we'll do a late evening run back to Blackpool North in the Cummins version. Uh, yeah, it was on the train from Swindon to London. Not the one where I got COVID. <laughs> that was the way back. Right, two and a half miles. I just love that wheel squeal. They've done such a good job of this. Slowlying our way down into Preston. So then we'll make the return trip to Blackpool North. Oh my heaven, this is it is seriously, it is so good. As I said earlier, it's the first time in any train sim world route that I can actually see myself doing the timetable runs. I've never had that inclination before. It's just such an enjoyable thing. And it's not just the train, I think it's the route. Whoever did this has put such a lot of detail in. And it's not laggy, it's smooth. to Preston. Nice guy. And then we'll go all Cummins on the way back. Uh, maybe, Greg. But I think that's improved. Once you've done the route once, it's not as laggy the second time. Driven 100 miles in the class 142.
See, that's what you want. AI going in and out. we come and yeah we'll pick one about eight o'clock ish on the way back to Blackpool from here and then tomorrow we'll do Ormskirk to Blackpool South in November then maybe try something in the snow Unlock doors. Even the station, though, it's got such a good feel about it. Uh, no, there's freight. Um, there's freight stuff as well. Freight timetabled freight routes. Uh, there's some a couple of scenarios um, that are freight as well. We'll do the reverse run uh, at night, and then I'll show you the scenarios. And then we'll do a couple of those on uh, on Wednesday. I could just sit listening to that tick over. Uh, I'm streaming it again tomorrow and streaming it on Wednesday, yeah. And then Thursday is OMSI. Right. So that's that. Now what we'll do is we'll go back to the main menu. And now we'll do the reverse run. We'll go Preston back to Blackpool North uh, when it's a little bit darker in the Cummins uh, engine version. Uh, timetable 142 so now we'll go uh, 93 plus uh, that one and then we'll run uh, Blackpool Manchester Victoria so Preston to Blackpool North there we go the 2019 uh, we'll put it back to summer July so it should be darker and we go back to Blackpool North with the Cummins powered this time. Oh, that looks a bit darker. Um, right. Open the windows. You can hear that's different. Uh, lights. Head. Uh, hang on, are we a four car? We're a four car. Ooh. Well, there you go. Double the fun. So we're stopping at Kirkham and Wesham, Port and Lefiled, Leighton, extra one on this one, and Blackpool North. Oh, hang on, better set the thing before people start complaining. Uh. Yeah, that's visible. Got a twiddle with thing, and that's after the stream. Right. And we got a red, though. 
wait until 2021. So we should have a different uh, interior now as well. Different CT. <laughs> the brown livery looks like a licorice all sort. <laughs> yeah. One thing is, there's a switch here. Um, guard screen. Doesn't seem to do anything. I haven't noticed anything appear. So I don't know what it does. If anybody knows what it actually does, let me know. Uh, anyway, right, let's lock the doors. Right. Kirkham and Wesham. So now we got Cummins power. My, well, it is my least favourite. Nice when it's getting darker, though. That's why I, I think the initial Leyland is the only one I'm ever going to use. doing 30 mile an hour. Oh, that's sunlight over the tracks down there. Right, 6.7 miles to Kirkham and Wesham. Yeah, the only one I'm likely to be using is that automated manual with the uh, with the Leyland in it. Oh God, is Ethan still watching? Um, I haven't watched it yet, obviously. Uh, Jeff's video, no, you're not getting one for Christmas. I'll watch it after the stream. And neither are you, Crispy. Wow, yeah, this thing feels a bit too rapid. Who's Jeff? Jeff Marshall. Yeah, it's definitely the original one for me. It's just, it's almost feels too quick. I 
Oh, I do like that squeal though. Squeal, piggy squeal. Two hundred and fifty quid. If it was twenty five quid, I wouldn't buy Ethan one. That's probably one of those little tiny ones as well, isn't it? Well, there you go, Ethan. Get yourself a job, save up. Thing is, you can just do it yourself anyway. With a probably, you could buy yourself a LED screen because um, they're cheap enough. Just connect it to your PC as a separate screen, and just stick a web page on there. Done. Just have that sat on the shelf if you're that desperate. Right, 2.1 miles, we've got 45 limit. Not quite as dark as I thought it was going to be on the return. Fields are quite odd. Like radioactive fields. Yeah, definitely really like the route though. The next station stop is Kirk and Western. I'm not gonna get bored of that. What's the USB departure board used for? People that are train weirdos that want to see the departures that, that well, they're local and or any railway station in the UK. So rather than Ethan check on his phone every three minutes to see if the train from Manchester is running late or not, he could just set a departure board up for Manchester and see. realize on the day that he travels to Manchester I'm going to be getting a message every like four minutes going that he's one minute late he's two minutes late now that they're, 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 they're 2.5 minutes late out of this station they're three minutes late into this station I'm just gonna mute him that day I think it's probably safer for everybody and then when we're sat enjoying ourselves in the pub in the evening He'll be going, yeah, I'm three minutes late here. I'm two minutes late there. You're not that bad. You moaned at me because my train was like three minutes late into Paddington. Hi, Louis. I didn't care. I think on, on Saturday I'm going to go for a nice peaceful walk in the New Forest. No trains. Uh, the Blackboard Branches is coming out tomorrow. This is the Blackboard Branches. Oh yeah, the bounce is, is really good.
So I'm not a fan of the Cummins engine. I prefer the original one, but hello, people. Why are you sat there? Do you smell or something? Sit in second class seat. There's no first class seat, surely. It's a pacer. Also, this is the Leyland engine one at the back here. Hang on, I wonder if we can turn the... Right, I wonder what's going to happen now. If we, if we turn the engine off on the one on the back. Hang on, I might have just turned my engine off. Bear with me. Oops. Um, hang on. Oop. Okay, that was a good idea. Um... Well, we haven't left here yet. Yeah, the, the the version of this with the the Leyland version with the automated manual is my favourite. This is the Cummins with the voice. But I love the bounciness. In fact, we got some double pacer action going on here. Right, 13 a minute coming up. 5.8 miles to Poulton Lefield. Quite nice to do a night run in this, wouldn't it? Right, ready to give it the beans. Almost think we're slower because we got that extra train on the back. Are oh, they baked beans? Mmm, baked beans. Right, so you've got Poultonly Fylde, Leighton, and then Blackpool North. I really love the swaying and the bouncy. It's such a good route. Really, really good route. This version does feel a little bit quick though. Yes, done Blackpool South to Ormskirk. Uh, Going to do that again tomorrow though. Uh, going from Ormskirk to Blackpool South. So I will be here tomorrow night again. 
I'm going the other way. I really love the way it just bounces along. And even the um, audio as you pass under the bridge. Yeah, you go past the Pleasure Beach when we left Blackpool South, which is really cool. Uh, as we come into Blackpool North, we'll see the tower in the distance as well. Oh, this is 100% worth the money for this route not just because of the pacer I think the pacer is an added bonus I think the route itself is really good I think if this had been done as a modern route with whatever's running on it now I think it would have still been a brilliant route the fact they've set it back in the 80s with the pacer top job I am running with no guard. He's here in spirit. The next station stop is the pile. I just look at the way it's swaying about. It's it's awesome. They have done such a top job with this. Not so much AI on this section. So you can see them bouncing up and down. Yeah, so I was just concerned. I was trying to compare it to the AP uh, pacer we had in Train Sim Classic, which is really good. I still think maybe the gear change in the manual version of this, or the automated manual version of this, is a bit quick. Um, but I, it's just so good. And the route with the swaying and the bobbing and the clickety-clack, because it's non-welded track, that rhymed. Right, into Polkton Lift Field. People try it, Michael. That's the problem. They take the risk, certainly at stations where you can get on without a ticket. I don't envy you your job some days. swap jobs. Mine was difficult today. I had to look at a spreadsheet and everything. Mm. Unlocking doors at Bolton Le Field. Mm. Did Ethan ring me today? No, I haven't spoke to him today. He only speaks to me when it's convenient for him, not when it's convenient for me. 
And when it's convenient for him, it wasn't convenient for me. Uh, right, locking doors. I did send a very whingy email to a supplier today and put in there that, you know, I, I ran um, merchants for 25 years and would never treat a customer like the way you've treated us. Right, Leighton is next. Right, we haven't stopped at Leighton before. Making our way back to Blackpool North. Uh, Lil Sinker, uh, thank you very much. things on the rails uh, good loving the route loving the pacer it's so good there will be more tomorrow nice right, point is going too quick because we've only got 1.2 miles to go Blackpool North, will the tower be illuminated? Can we see the illuminated tower when we get there? So yeah, tomorrow night we'll do the return run. We'll do Ormskirk to Blackpool South um, in November. So we'll see what the, uh, the weather does for us. Uh, then we'll be able to look at the scenarios tomorrow. And then Wednesday, we'll look at some of the other timetable runs that don't include the pace up. Uh, and look at a couple of more scenarios. So three streams. And Thursday, we've got some OMSI. Friday night, uh, still to be confirmed. Uh, Saturday, I don't know what I'm doing yet. If I decide to end up staying at home, uh, then there'll be something on Saturday. Uh, and then uh, we'll be here on Sunday uh, with some farming. The next stop is Leighton. The next stop is Leighton. All that track noise. dark as well generally happens night time unlocking the doors the doors are unlocked I just noticed there's only one door in the on the what 
Why is there only one door on this side? Okay, so it's three doors on each side, basically. I've only just noticed that. Oh, there's a thing. Right, go via Blackpool, Blackpool North? No, Blackpool North down Main. some words, yeah. Yeah, this door's the same place it was on the bus, and then we got the two on the other side. And there's a toilet there where that clear window is. Unclear window is? The non-clear window. The frosty win the window. The window. Non-window window. Words are difficult. Liam wouldn't fit on one of these trains. I don't know how he fits in any train. Yeah, the tower is lit. So yes, you can see the tower in the distance. That was a noise. Make our way into Blackpool North. Yeah, so I almost want to pace a pack now. I want to pack with all the paces, including the prototype. I saw something on Twitter a few months ago saying there was in Ireland somewhere there was one of the prototypes of the pacer, which was basically just a Leyland National body on a chassis. I really hope a museum or something has picked it up. Yeah, you can, so you can see the tower in the distance look, lit up. Yes, they did try this in the USA, but the, the Americans went, no, no. It's a shame that, I'm not saying I only just got into the pacer, but if I'd have gone out like a year earlier, I could have actually gone on a pacer. So there was something on Twitter a month or so ago saying there is one doing rail tours. Um, I need to find where that is. Find when it where it's going to be and get myself booked on it. Because if I can go on a pacer on at main line speeds, yeah, I'm up for that. So yes, you can see the tower in the distance up there, look. Which is rather cool.
There we go. Unlock doors. I love the fact they've put a lot of detail into the stuff that's just sat ticking over here. It is such a good route. All you now is the 143. I, I think we'll get it, personally. I think that this is going to be quite a popular route uh, and a DLC. I almost think that Just Trains will go, okay, we'll do the 143 then. I wonder how long it'll be before we get more locos. doesn't matter just do it as a, as, as a loco use it where you want just give us the 143 there we go done and there we go uh done uh we did uh what did we do we did blackpool south to ormskirk we did blackpool north to preston and preston to blackpool north uh what an awesome line that is one awesome train that is um it is very 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 good um so yes um so yeah you basically just got blackpool north to preston and reverse and then uh, the hour and a bit one, Ormskirk to Blackpool South and reverse. So that's the bits you've, uh, that's the bits of the route you've got. Hour and 10 minutes though, that Ormskirk to Blackpool South, definitely worth it. Um, and scenarios, um, we'll have a look at these over the coming uh, weeks. Uh, an illumination special uh, with a class 47, a 30 minute scenario. Uh, another class 47 one. Um, so rescuing a stranded surface uh, service by the looks of things a stranded pacer needs your assistance for that one with a class 142 uh, another 142 with some engineering works an hour and 20 minute scenario shuttle service from Preston to Ormskirk and back again and then uh, a shunter scenario with a class 08 hauling some wagons around so we'll look at a couple of those over the next few days uh, and then work our way through all of them. Um, but yes, there we go. Um, what an awesome, awesome uh, route that is. Um, really, really enjoyed it. And uh, looking forward to bringing you more of it over the next couple of days. And there will be a Pacer tour uh, coming up over the Christmas period. We will take the Pacer around the UK um, on as many routes as we can. Uh, doing as many things as we can. Really must explore the free roam thing a bit more, see what mischief we can get up to. Uh, we should probably do that. Uh, anyway, I'll go back into photo, the game mode. Uh, so there we go. Uh, we will end there. Uh, I will be back uh, doing some more of this uh, tomorrow night. We'll do, um, say, Ormskirk back to Blackpool South uh, and then maybe see what we can do in the snow. Uh, see how it looks. And uh, yes, we've heard that it will work in West Cornwall too with announcements. Um, so we will be doing that over the next couple of weeks. Maybe next week we'll go back down to West Cornwall and do the Pacer with announcements and start our way down there. Uh, so there we go. Thanks you lot in chat for keeping me company for the last two and a half hours. Uh, and to uh, these people as well. Thanks to Greg for resubscribing, uh, the moderation team for doing uh, nothing, and Lil Sinker for raiding. Uh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, there we go. I will be back uh, tomorrow night for some more Pacer fun. Until then, if you have been, thanks very much for watching.